In the world of computer graphics, it's getting harder and harder to tell what's real from what's not. As a matter of fact, this entire room was created on a computer. I'm the only real thing here. Now, for the first time, you have the power to produce photorealistic images right inside your personal computer. The program that makes all this possible is called RenderMan, created by the Pixar Company of Northern California. It's the technology behind such amazing images as the water creature in the abyss, the animated short Luxo Jr., and last year's Academy Award winning Tin Toy. The people who created these images are putting their secrets at your fingertips. Right now, Pixar is testing a software package called Showplace, available in January for about $800. The thing that we've done in this particular product that no one else has done is applied years and years of Pixar technology, things that are very, very hard to do. We've made them real simple. Showplace will provide pre-built shapes called clip objects. You also get a library of looks or surfaces like wood, metal, or stone. Just as if your computer is a tiny studio, you arrange the objects, set the lights, position the camera, choose the materials you want, and make your picture. The program does the rest, automatically filling in difficult details like shadows and reflections. You can make a cloudy day, and you can make a, a starlit night, and you can have rain, and you can have reflections of puddles in the street, and you, you can create your whole little world. But with Showplace, you're limited to the objects they give you. If you want to create your own shapes, you'll need a separate 3D modeling program, and it only produces a draft quality image. For the full-fledged final product, you'll have to shell out another $700 for a program like Pixar's Mac Renderman. Then you're all set to turn out pictures like these, which can be printed, put on slides, or even animated. It's over the winner. Pixar predicts Render Man will create a whole new standard for communication, taking us from desktop publishing to desktop video. It will give people a real exciting way to express their creativity and I'll let them communicate in ways that they never thought they could before. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll be able to draw up our own dream space and program ourselves right into it. Lifesavers Holes. Tiny little bites of candy in all your favorite Lifesavers flavors. Holes. Incredibly, unforgettably delicious. More fun than you can ever imagine. New Holes candy from Lifesavers. Watch out for holes. They're going to be big. We have a story this half hour about a company called Pixar. They're up in Northern California and they really have taken computer animation to new heights. Jim Forbes has our story. Even in the uninhibited world of animation, this is a bit theater of the absurd. 15 seconds of childhood emotion as experienced through the lies of a family of desk lamps. This heartbreak was generated in a microchip by hands that are toying on the cutting edge of computer graphics. The first time you make a picture, you're making something out of nothing in a sense. You've got bits and bytes inside the computer. 
and you're turning those into a real flesh and blood picture. And it's, it's a thrilling thing. Or at least a wire and metal picture that emotes as though it were flesh and blood. Luxo Sr. and his boy Junior were created by a Northern California firm called Pixar. <laughs> this is how we get ideas here. Pixar is a collection of free-spirited but highly respected scientists who a decade ago were scoffed at by their academic colleagues. And there were a number of, of people who thought that this was not a legitimate pursuit. Of course it was esoteric. Of course it was new. Because that's what, what we were doing. We were laying these new foundations. And my feeling at the time was, these people are fools. What Ed Catmull and Alvy Ray Smith knew nearly two decades ago was that their emerging computer science industry would eventually need to do better than simply spit out data. The easiest natural way for people to talk to each other is to show pictures. In many ways, the computer age has been a double-edged sword. While we have access to infinitely more information and quickly, many of us are also drowning in that information. Catmull and Smith were convinced early on that the key would be presenting that information clearly, concisely, in a visually literate manner. And while we couldn't articulate it very well at the time, we knew that was the direction that we were heading in, and that's why people would eventually come around. Film producer George Lucas brought Catmull and Smith together in 1979 with a mandate to project computer animation into a new realm, to realistically blend computer graphics with live action sequences. In 86, Lucasfilm spun off its computer division and Pixar became its own company, owned by the employees and Stephen Jobs, founder of Apple and Next Computers. <laughs> Two years later, the now independent Pixar won the first Academy Award ever presented to a completely computer-generated film. But the company's direction shifted to taking that sophisticated production and giving it a practical use, something that everyday consumers could use and could afford. And we're ready. You know, we're sitting here. We've been preparing all along for this to happen, and we're ready for it. The product that Pixar has designed essentially allows one to take an idea and from it create a photograph in a desktop computer. So for instance, a product designer or an architect can present a three-dimensional rendering of that idea. Using um, a full-blooded color graphics technology is a way of um, making your money work harder. Uh, if you're putting money into the design of a building or into the design of a product, uh, you want to give the client as good a visualization of it as you possibly can. Introducing new fresh mint gum, the freshest mint, Skiddly bop -doo -wop. the coolest cool. Zoo -zoo -ha. That's quite a package. New fresh mint from Trident. Aujourd'hui, c'est un grand jour. Notre petite communauté est sur le point de s'agrandir, et nous attendons tous cet heureux événement. Bonjour les garçons. Et qui m'aime, me suit. Nouvelle polo, comme sa mère, mais au mieux. Listerine kills germs. It hits plaque above the gum line. Listerine battles gum disease. Faces gingivitis in big fight tonight. It's a right. And another right. Listerine really rocked him. It's over. The winner. Listerine antiseptic. It says what it does. It does what it says. Clarity. Precision, exploration. Graphic tools give us the power to breathe life into ideas, to visualize the unseen. 
better pictures open the door to better communication. But the mind's eye grasps more than our limited capacity to reconstruct graphics on a computer screen. How can we bring life to ideas when even our most advanced tools place severe limits on our imaginations? We need keener tools, more advanced software to aid our vision. We need photorealism on the desktop. It's here. RenderMan takes the world of possibilities a giant leap forward with images that rival photographs. Photorealism. Bits to lines, flat shaded to smooth shaded, our three-dimensional graphics tools have rapidly become more sophisticated. Now RenderMan revolutionizes how we think of computer images. RenderMan separates geometry from rendering by separating how the model is described from how the model is displayed. The RenderMan interface ushers in a new era of photorealistic images. Photorealism is rendering at its most accurate. It takes advantage of texture, reflectivity, complex light sources, shading languages, and motion blur beyond the boundaries of modeling. RenderMan introduces shading languages, programs which define the texture and lighting characteristics of a shape throughout rather than merely wrapping its surface. Shading languages increase flexibility in defining and modifying images. RenderMan's application of shading languages creates photoreal environments. So real, you can nearly touch them. Before RenderMan, great images required artists, programmers, and hours of computer time. RenderMan will make photorealism available to every desktop in every industry. RenderMan, the tool that provides the power to unleash the limits of your imagination. RenderMan, the standard in photorealism.